when I first read the articles on on uh, Borrelia myoni, at first I thought well, that's pretty interesting. Is another you know another organism, but um, it probably doesn't come as a tremendous surprise because, for instance, in Europe there are different species. Don't ask me to name them, but there are different species of Borrelia that will cause Lyme disease, and and the illness they cause has a slightly different flavor than what we have here in the States. So it doesn't surprise me that we have more than one species and we may discover others. But ultimately it, it almost doesn't make a whole lot of difference because the Borrelia myoni may cause people to feel a little sicker. Um, they, they, they seem to get more digestive type symptoms, nausea, vomiting, uh, fevers, than um, than the people with Borrelia burgdorferi who have classic Lyme disease. But it's treated exactly the same way. It's picked up with the same tests. So it almost doesn't matter. I mean, it's like almost like, okay, well, you have this one and not that one. What difference, what, you know, what does that mean in terms of treating it? Nothing. What does that term mean in terms of getting better? Nothing. So it just means that when you had it, you were sicker. But by the time you make the diagnosis, it's all over. So, so whether somebody has one or the other doesn't matter as far as it's spreading. I mean, I suppose it can spread. Uh, I my inclination would be to think it's not going to spread rapidly because the ticks are not like mosquitoes where they can fly. Even mosquitoes don't fly a great distance, but they can fly and eventually fan out. Ticks kind of depend on vectors to move them. So I, I mean, I suppose if a tick bites a, a white-footed mouse or, or, or winters on a deer and the deer moves miles away and then the tick drops off, you can have infected ticks. So I w eventually I would assume that it will spread out, but um, we haven't found it yet out outside of those two states. I think it's, uh, I believe it's uh, Minnesota and um, Wisconsin. It's in that upper Midwest area anyway. Um, it hasn't, we haven't found it outside of the upper Midwest. So I, I mean, if it's spreading, it's certainly spreading very slowly. As far as who is susceptible more to one versus the other, Borrelia myoni versus Borrelia burgdorferi, I, I think it's more a case of where you live and where you're exposed than where you were, whether, you know, if you were bitten by a Borrelia myoni tick and a Borrelia burgdorferi tick, well, this one, because you have X, Y, and Z in your make up, you're more likely to get sick from this tick than from that tick. I don't think that's the case. I think it's just more of a case of the exposure itself. And again, if you don't live in the upper Midwest, it's very improbable at this stage that one would get that infection, Borrelia myoni.